to the west, let the baller take you home. Island style represent. For two days of our time in the Western Islands, Elliot and I got to jump on board with local Badu Island fishermen, Adrian and Frank, as they go about crayfishing. They show us their daily process of preparing for the day, catching crays, and how they store and sell their catch during a working period. Hey, Adrian's boost juice, only better. This is my boost juice. The blueberries, raspberries, mangoes, bananas. Keeps him speedy in the water. And veggie blend. Keep the energy up all day. When we start work, depending where the crays are and where people are catching them, uh, you gotta carry a fair amount of fuel just to be safe. Free diving starts December 1 till February 4th. During that time, you can only free dive. Usually we work hooker, but every month there's a hooker ban where you're not allowed to use hooker. But now they got two bands in place, two a month. The closer you get to the quarter, it clears up. So when you start four days before the quarter, it's dusty, the tide's still strong. You only have about a meter, even that visibility. You ready? As you get closer to the quarter, it clears up and the tide slackens. Usually we swim for the going down tide, which is a slack tide. Get about four or five hours in. Or when it's high tide, we usually go to the um, top of the reef. So it's more shallow, about three to four meters. And when the tide drop, we hit the like lagoons in that. So it won't be as deep. Because when it's high tide, it's probably seven, eight meters. Different people have their own way of catching crays, but usually you just pull their fillers, catch them by the knuckle, then stop their tail from kicking. Then, then when you take them into the boat, you just chuck them in your live well, or depending what kind of setup you have in your boat, whether it's seats or live well, you just have to have water flow, air, just keep them all alive. Well, this is where we store the crayfish when we work. It's an inbuilt life tank. This stores all the craze. You can see they're nice and live. They're in the water. And we got the aerator for bubbles. Gives them oxygen, keeps them alive. Fix the switch, the bubbles come on. Keeps them strong. Well, if you strip four legs, you can't sell them. The borderline is three. Elliot caught this, <laughs> all the legs gone, he can't sell that, so he's going to take it home to eat. <laughs> Hazards for free diving, probably like sharks, mainly wobbegons because they're hard to see and they're always in the stones. So I seen a wobbegon and to avoid getting bit, I had to get out of a spear, push it out of the way because I couldn't move it on its own without disturbing the craze. So I had to push it out of the way and at the same time pluck the cray from the stone. Other hazards would be sea urchins because they're always in stones and in cracks. You have to be careful when you're catching the crayfish. Sea urchin, a prick straight in the finger. <laughs> That finger right there. Did that hurt? Yeah. Yeah, the crays are pretty prickly, so we tend to just use gloves to catch them. If you get pricked, you can also get infections in your hands when the thorns break off in your skin. Got infected from the last nip, didn't heal up, kept working. Take a couple of days leave. <laughs> leave with no pay. <laughs> For the last hour or so, me and Frank have been just hanging on the boat and playing boaty. But it's been a mint day, it's been like glass out. This is about as rough as it's got. And uh, yeah, about an hour punch home. Yeah, it's been mint. It's been bloody awesome. Back to the factory, unload the craze. 
Frank's just showing me how to pop the blisters under the head, caused by the stress of being caught and stressing out of the boat, I suppose. The pressure otherwise builds up and apparently can kill them. He's also checking for shedding craze by snapping the feeler or the antenna to see if there's another soft one inside. You can snap them, or you can tell by the eyes, this part is dark orange. See how it's dark orange? Well, we're running late. We should be out there working already because of the tide. Just heading over to Dollar Reef for the morning. Get a few hours in before it starts ripping. Average catch for free diving would be depending on where the crayfishes are and how good the season is. Probably uh, between 30 to 80 crays a day, which is roughly about 40 kilos. But when you get like a bomby with a few crays, you gotta work fast because of the tide. Like from the dust, when you catch the cray, if you don't work fast, the dust will get the other crays and you'll scare them off or they'll crawl under the rock like even further where you can't get to them. Waiting for the old mate to get back, open the factory so we can unload. Well, the process, when we get back, we unload the crays from the live well into a basket, carry them up to the factory for it to be processed. We call this Nas, shed the skin, now it's all soft, can't sell it. But in about four or five days, it's hard again. You can't sell the softies and the double skin. So you take it home to eat. And we store them there throughout the nip till we unload. This is our catch for four days. I just looks mad I seen this many crates. Yeah, at the moment they are putting inside in the baskets. And from here we take them over there and weigh them. And after that way, what she's doing is she's, she's grading it. You know, uh, we got three gradings here. The medium ones, uh, the ones that bring in the money. This is the boxes that we uh, usually put the craze inside. Uh, we send them uh, 100 boxes or maybe uh, 200 boxes by playing here. Mm. Playing the rejects because right. too much legs are broken, soft ones, double skins. <laughs> Love my job because it's peaceful underwater. Don't have to listen to bullshit. Dive, get to catch crayfish, get to go diving every day. Who wouldn't want to do that? But always remember fish are friends.